I'm Chris Capello of Comfort Zone Homes. Today, I'd like to discuss why we do not use double stud walls as a way to super insulate the homes that we build. There are many types of super insulated wall systems, and one of the most commonly used is the double stud wall. A home constructed in this manner has two outside walls that are built parallel to each other, about 8, 12 to 18 inches apart. The gap between the two walls is generally filled with cellulose insulation. It is the least expensive way to super insulate a house, but unfortunately many double stud wall homes allow thermal bridging. A thermal bridge is a part of an exterior wall where heat escapes because there is no insulation in that part of the wall. The most common place where thermal bridging occurs in a double stud wall is where the second story floor meets the exterior wall. If you looked at this type of a house from the outside with an infrared camera during the winter time, you would see a red-orange line all around the outside exactly where the second floor meets the exterior wall. This line indicates where heat loss is actually occurring. A house built in this manner will have an actual R value that is in fact lower than the home's advertised R value. The other difficulty with the double stud wall is that cellulose has a tendency to settle over time, leaving insulation gaps inside the wall, which creates even more room for heat loss. Finally, in a house built with double stud walls, the contractor is usually forced to run wiring, plumbing, and duct work inside the wall along with the insulation. This reduces the actual R value of the wall as well. And if any of these systems need to be accessed down the road for repair, the job will be extremely difficult. In conclusion, there are different ways to super insulate a home. Our approach using SIPs may cost a bit more to construct, but it will repay you year after year by staying true to its advertised R value and by keeping the heat inside your house. Please contact us if you have questions about why and how we insulate. Thank you very much.